interlinking of rivers what is interlinking of rivers interlinking of rivers involves diversion of water over space and time from water surplus basins to water deficit basins inter basin transfer of water is commonly known as interlinking of rivers program need for interlinking of rivers India has only 4% of world's renewable water to support more than 18% of the world's population. Add to that its uneven distribution in space and time. The rainfall is confined to only about 3 to 4 months in a year and varies from less than 100 mm in the western parts of Rajasthan to more than 2500 mm in northeastern area. Over 80 to 90% of river flows occur in the four monsoon months. But due to lack of adequate storage in the country, large portion of it goes into the sea unutilized. Further, excessive extraction of groundwater is resulting in drastic depletion of water level in some areas. Need for water is growing with the rising population. With our population projected to reach about 164 crore by 2050, the requirement of food grains to feed it will be around 400 million metric tons and this will require enhanced irrigation to increase the food productivity. Then water is also needed to meet the domestic demands along with development of infrastructure, industry and power. Precisely the reasons why interlinking of rivers is an idea whose time has come. History of Interlinking of Rivers Program the concept is not new. Way back in 1969, the Madhupur Bias link came into being, and there are other examples the Periyar Vaigai link, the Ghagra Sharda link, and the Sardar Sarovar, among others. National Perspective Plan for Water Resource Development In 1980, the then Ministry of Irrigation and Central Water Commission formulated a National Perspective Plan NPP for Water Resources Development envisaging inter-basin transfer of water from surplus basins to deficit ones with a view to minimize regional imbalances. The plan has two components, Himalayan Rivers Development and Peninsula Rivers Development. Role of National Water Development Agency To achieve the objectives of National Perspective Plan, the National Water Development Agency NWDA, was set up in 1982. After various studies, NWDA identified 30 links, 16 under Peninsula and 14 under Himalayan component. Using a scientifically proven water assessment method, the water availability at 75% dependable yield in a river basin, sub-basin has been computed. NWDA subsequently completed pre-feasibility and feasibility studies for almost all proposed links. Kane Betwa Link Project Under Phase 1, a 77-meter high Dodhan Dam will be constructed on Kan River and 221-kilometer long canal is proposed to transfer surplus water of Kan River to water deficit Betwa Basin. Ken Betwa Link project will provide irrigation to the drought-prone Bundelkhan region of Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. The project will provide 6.35 lakh hectare of annual irrigation and 49 million cubic meter MCM of drinking water supply to benefit about 15 lakh people of the area. This project will generate 78 megawatt of hydropower. Total employment generation will be over 225 lakh man days annually in command area of the project. Most of the statutory clearances have been accorded and forest clearance is at advanced stage. The implementation of the project is likely to be started soon. Daman Ganga Pinja Links the Daman Ganga Pinja Link project aims to solve Mumbai's water scarcity. It envisages diversion of 579 million cubic meter surplus water from Daman Ganga Basin to supplement domestic and industrial water supply needs of Mumbai. In 2014, NWDA completed DPR and Techno Economic Clearance of the project has been accorded by CWC, an advisory committee of Ministry of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation. Par Tapi Narmada Link Project 
the Par Tapi Narmada link envisages transfer of 1,330 million cubic meters of surplus water from Par, Auranga, Ambika and Purna rivers to drought-prone areas of North and South Gujarat. However, DPR of the link is being modified as per the suggestion of Government of Gujarat. MSTG Link Project MSTG Link Project proposes diversion of about 42,000 MCM surplus water available in Manas, a tributary of Brahmaputra and Sankosh River with supplementation from intermediate streams Torsha, Raidak and Jaldakha for augmenting the flow of Ganga at Faraka and further transfer of water through Ganga, Damodar, Subhanrekha Link, Subhanrekha Mahanadi Link and beyond towards south. The feasibility report of this link project is being prepared by NWDA. International Aspect Most of the reservoirs under ILR projects planned by NWDA like Sharda Yamuna Link, Ghagra Yamuna Link, Gandak Ganga Link and Manas Sankosh Tista Ganga Link of Himalayan components are proposed in neighboring countries of Nepal and Bhutan. The Government of India is actively involved with neighboring countries like Nepal and Bhutan for consensus building for construction of reservoirs proposed in Nepal and Bhutan territories. A joint agreement between Nepal and India on Mahakali River for construction of Pancheshwar Dam has already been signed. NWDA has identified 30 river links at national level. A comprehensive study has been carried out to know whether a particular river basin is water surplus or water deficit. Central government departments like CWC, NIH, CGWB, IMD, CSMRS, GSI, NRSA, BISEC, etc. are consulted in preparation of feasibility report as well as detailed project reports as per need. All the identified links by NWDA for river interlinking are based on proven scientific studies and should be executed at the earliest. Need to build water storage capacity Our per capita storage capacity is far behind than USA, Russia, Canada, China and many other countries. The need to enhance water storage capacity is visible in statistics. Execution of all proposed water transfer links will enhance our storage capacity by 200 billion cubic meter. It will transfer more than 170 BCM surplus water to the areas facing acute water scarcity. Benefits of ILR program By executing all river interlinking projects, we will be able to add 25 million hectares of irrigation by surface water and 10 million hectares by increased use of groundwater. This totals to a 35 million hectares. This will help in enhancing current level of production to cater estimated needs of the country by 2050 AD. Additionally, it will help in generating 34,000 megawatt of clean energy. Further, it will check floods in places like Northeast, Bihar, West Bengal, Odisha, Uttar Pradesh among others. It will also recharge groundwater in regions where the water table has depleted. Additionally, enormous employment opportunity will be generated during construction, operation and maintenance of the interlinking projects, which will check the migration of laborers from drought-prone and water-scarce areas. Irrigation, fisheries, tourism, forestry will also get a much-needed impetus to generate new jobs. Sustainable water flow in the river throughout the year will strengthen the ecology and the river's regime. Constitution of a Special Committee on Interlinking of Rivers The Honorable Supreme Court directed central government to form a special committee for interlinking of rivers. The special committee was formed by center under the chairmanship of Honorable Union Minister of Water Resource, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation with representation from concerned ministries and departments. To ensure effective, time-bound implementation of the ILR projects, the Special Committee has been holding regular meetings. And thanks to its constant efforts, the first ILR project namely Ken Bethwa Link project is ready to be taken up for construction very soon. A task force for interlinking of rivers has also been constituted under chairmanship of Sri B. N. Nawalawala. Concerns of Environmentalist 
the ilr makes for sound science as all environmental concerns are carefully considered while making the dprs for proposed links as per national state guidelines the concerns expressed by the so called environmentalists and other activists are not based on any scientific studies or reports most of these are based on fears apprehensions and preconceived notions when we study uh, the various projects under the ilr program we carry out the relevant environmental impact studies these are a part of the detailed project report and these are carried out as per the guidelines of the ministry of environment and forest a comprehensive environment impact assessment study and environmental management plan is done by specialized agencies which also includes public hearing and consultation the compensation for land acquisition and rehabilitation and resettlement benefits for the project affected families will be as per the provisions of the right to fair compensation and transparency in land acquisition rehabilitation and resettlement act 2013 issues and challenges but like every life changing project this one has its challenges too surplus states hardly admit that they have enough water to share they have apprehensions about disturbing the existing allocation of water as per awards they fear an adverse impact of the linking proposals on their existing and future irrigation and power requirements moving forward with consensus remains a challenge National Water Development Agency has identified water surplus and water deficit basins areas on scientific based research while assessing the surplus water in a basin or sub basins water demands for various purposes up to the year 2050 of that basin or sub basins have been considered so concerned states should not be apprehensive about the disturbance of existing and future water allocation the interlinking of rivers program is considered to be very beneficial for the entire country the supreme court in its judgment of february 2012 has also held this ilr program to be in the national interest as a result the government of india is pursuing this program in the right earnest this is in the national interest and we request all the concerned states government to provide full support and cooperation in the implementation of this program so that the entire nation benefits river interlinking projects has become the necessity of nation for food security and sustainable water development it's imperative for all concerned departments and states to set their differences aside water surplus basin state can change the destiny of millions of people of water deficit areas with the execution of ilr projects so the time has come to make interlinking of rivers project a national movement for a better tomorrow for a nation free from water scarcity